Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of RVs with Gabby. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you love my content, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell down below so you never miss another walk around video. All right, it is almost closing time. And I really quick wanted to get this video done. I don't even have a camera person, but we're gonna do it anyway, because I know how much y'all love the super small units, right? My best video out there is my 26 foot Class A motorhome, the Thor Axis. Now here is the tiniest fifth wheel out there on the market. I'm pretty sure you won't find anything smaller than this. Let's check out this Rockwood. All right, YouTube, here she is. This is the 2442 BS Rockwood Ultralight Fifth Wheel. Look how teeny tiny she is. Please excuse all of these pipes and plumbing that just happen to be right in front of this fifth wheel here. But this baby sits at, this baby's sitting at 28 foot and 11 inches. That is 29 feet total length, folks. Under 29 feet on a fifth wheel, and you are at 8,100 pounds dry. I mean, that's just phenomenal. If you're looking for a lightweight fifth wheel, this is your unit. Let me tell you, the floor plan is phenomenal on this, okay? So I don't want to spend too much time on the exterior, but let's go over it. You've got a huge metal wrapped awning so that's good for protection when the awning is inside nice big electric awning spans the length pretty much the length of your fifth wheel so you have a place to hang out under here right you've got well, look at that we've got goodyear tires great number one in the industry those endurance tires gotta have those auto leveling standard you have a rack here now this is gonna sit your tabletop and your griddle top that comes standard with every single forest river rockwood product from their pop-ups all the way up to their fifth wheels you're gonna get a griddle top and a table that attaches there and connects to your LP quick connect so you can actually cook outside underneath your awning. All right, outside speakers there, frameless windows. Um, they do have some storage right up here. I can't really open that because we've got this uh, piece right in front of it, but a good size amount of storage for a 29 foot fifth wheel, right? That's not what we came here to see, Gabby. We came here to see the floor plan. So let's quickly really go over it. You've got Asdell on the inside and the outside of the wall. It's a fully laminated walkable roof, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floors, six sided full aluminum frame, frameless windows, aluminum truss roof bracing, painted fiberglass front cap with the clear coat. Let's go check that out real quick. And you've got your Kurt turning point, uh, pin box here check this out great for short bed trucks also that is painted see you learn something new every night gabby don't you look at that beautiful sky it's a little it's supposed to rain but it didn't rain <laughs> all right let's continue and head inside really quickly because we are coming up on eight o'clock super fast here and we're getting ready to lock up the dealership look at this it's got everything you need in a compact little rear for this fifth wheel. I'm I'm obsessed with this model, guys. I think it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Uh, 15K AC up top there. You've got a ton of storage here. It looks like you've got a full pantry. All right, all right. I, I hate how they do this. I hate how it looks like the whole thing has shelves and it's only two shelves on top. But these shelves are super deep. Okay, and you're gonna have some space where you can put like maybe baskets or things from the container store and make use of that space yourself. I like that that light is a motion sensor light on the inside. You have a little breakfast nook here for your coffee pot, whatever you want there. Storage up above here. Again, you might have to add some shelves. I don't know who's tall enough to reach those shelves. Let's be realistic here, folks. But you've got more storage down below. There are two bar stools here that come standard with this model with this bar top which is great it's a good place to sit considering that the only other place for seating is your pull out trifold sofa here on the slide out now count them this is one of folks two slide outs on a 29 foot fifth wheel Ooh, i'm so excited all right so slide out with the couch pulls out for someone to sleep here tv is right above there above that bar stool and chair so i think obviously prime seating position to watch tv is going to be on this couch corner kitchen you've got solid surface countertops big stainless steel sink with a pull faucet three burner cooktop and the microwave or the microwave the oven even looks a little bit bigger than your little travel trail oven so that's good magic chef microwave nice and large Keep in mind, guys, if you're thinking about pulling 
an 8,100 pound travel trailer against a fifth wheel, against an 8,100 pound fifth wheel. Benefits of a fifth wheel, imagine you're hauling a sack of potatoes, right? This is an old sales guy that used to work here said this and it made so much sense to me. Look how big this fridge is, by the way, while we're looking at that. Uh, imagine you're carrying a sack of potatoes. Towing a travel trailer is like dragging that sack of potatoes behind you on the ground, okay? And pulling a fifth wheel is like putting that sack of potatoes on your shoulder and carrying it up the hill. Makes a lot more sense when it's on your shoulders, right? It's a lot stronger, a lot more sturdy. So that would be one reason to consider, look at that fan up there, nice, nice. Uh, a fifth wheel this size and this uh, this size and this weight over a travel trailer around the same dimensions. All right, so that is the great little 2442 BS rear living kitchen area. Let's head up the stairs and check out the bathroom and bedroom. This is probably m m what I'm most excited about. I'll save the best for last. All right, you've got a nice big shower here. You can step right in there. You've got a seat. You've got a skylight up above. You have a shower miser on board. Don't forget to head to my feature and benefit Friday videos to check out more about that hot water saving shower miser system. Great little feature. And deep linen closet here, so that's great. You've got a towel hook. You've got a porcelain foot flush toilet. Check, check, check. All right, stainless steel sink, I like it. And then you have your little mirror and, and cabinet storage up above as well as below your sink. Okay, check it out. Master bedroom has a slide out. Fifth wheel under 30 feet, under 9,000 pounds dry with a walk around bed on a slide out, folks. I cannot get excited enough about this model, okay? This is why I hopped on here without any video, without any videographer. I'm gonna do minimal editing to this thing. Check this out. I am standing next to the bed, fully walk around bed. This is a queen. The question is, can you option a king? I guess we'll have to head to the website of Rockwood, um, Rockwood's website and find out. But this is optioned with a second AC up here. So excellent, you're at a less than 30 foot fifth wheel and you've got two air conditioners. You've got a full walk around bed on a slide out. So much space here. So much room, room for activities. Um, this is the tabletop and griddle I was talking about. Most likely, I'm not gonna lift it up with one hand with the griddle on top, but there should be some storage underneath the bed. Breaker boxes here in the bedroom, okay, okay. If you've ever seen one of these and you're curious what it is, it's a temperature sensor. So that's to gauge the air conditioner temperature so that it'll turn on and off uh, automatically. That is a sensor in case you're wondering what those little black things are throughout your unit. Okay. Emergency exit here in the bedroom. Cool. You've got a nightstand, or not even nightstand, a dresser. Decent, decent sized drawers. Oh, and there are those soft clothes. Awesome. Backer for a TV here for the bedroom, so that's neat. And then you've got your, um, you do have a carpeted step right here to get to the closet. But you've got a shoe closet area here and then a little bit of hanging closet storage so that's nice a couple of drawers down there it looks like and then storage right here in this cabinet I was like I don't know why I was hoping that this would be a washer dryer guys honestly I'm a little disappointed that it's not but 29 foot 8100 pounds dry walk around master bed two air conditioners I mean, it's it's loaded. So if, if, if the only thing that it's not going to offer is a washer dryer, you may not even want that anyway, honestly, because let's say it was plumbed for a washer dryer and you decided to get one installed. That's going to eat up a lot of the weight rating of the things you can put in the fifth wheel. And don't forget how much water it's going to take to run that washer dryer. Those washer dryers are really, they're, I call them European style washer dryers, you know, apartment style washer dryers. They're really not meant for a ton of washing and drying. They can handle a couple pieces of clothing. You cannot overload it like you can a home washer dryer. So it's definitely, you know, not up to what people would think is standard, especially if you're living in this seasonally or planning on full timing. So yeah, for a weekend warrior, this is an amazing, amazing floor plan. Amazing layout by Rockwood. I think they did a phenomenal job. This has been the 2442 BS Rockwood Ultralight Fifth Wheel by Forest River for model year 2023. Thank you so much for watching my video. And until next time, happy camping.